What we found during COVID-19 was that leaders were really limited in their ability to check in and connect with their teams. So we developed Emotional Pulse built on psychologically safe and mental health framework principles. That is promotion, prevention and early intervention. And the technology allows leaders to connect in with teams at timely manner and in a non-intrusive way. Based on psychology-backed principles. Behind you, you see the emotional array. Um, it ranges from emotions from unpleasant emotions to pleasant emotions, from low energy emotions to high energy emotions. So today, because I'm presenting to everyone, I'm feeling a bit excited. So all I have to do is tap on the excited quadrant and then tap update emotions. That's it, I've logged my emotions. It's that simple and we've used simplicity as a basis for our designs. Why would we want to log our emotions? Well, after some time, you'll start to see certain trends in your emotions. And this is where emotional pulse really comes into uh, its own. Um, as you can see, um, this is the emotional array again. Um, you can start to see that I'm predominantly a fairly engaged person. But once in a while, I do feel a bit strained when there's a bit more to do. Um, now, where emotional pulse takes it to another level is when you start to see things at the team level. What you're looking at right now is our team. The team has already pulsed for the day. Um, now, I pulsed as excited, so I'm here in the orange highlight, and this is the rest of the team. As you can see, there's one person that feels a bit strained, so this could be a sign for our support members to go out there and check in with the rest of the team and find out how they're going. So we know that naming emotions is helpful. A great study out of UCLA looked at arachnophobes and of all these different control settings, the ones that named their fear, that named their emotion, had less physiological arousal and were able to get closer to the spider. They were able to perform better and felt less stress. So naming emotions creates space and distance so that we're less controlled by them. In addition, by talking about it, by saying, oh, I'm not okay or I am okay, making that visible, at least the kind of conversations and connection that we would like to see more of and we know supports mental well-being. So we have the, we work with the principles that support should be invited, trusted and skilled at a time of need. So if someone logs in a state of depression, for example, it's going to invite them to get in touch with someone. If they want to, they can go click through and it'll link to supports that are in their network, that are trusted, that are invited and that have the skills to do that. And that's why we offer certified mental health first responder training so that people have the skills to support someone who's in need. I've been using the Emotional Pulse software with my business made with purpose and what it's been really useful for is helping my students check in every single day on their emotional state in a way that's fully confidential so no one knows their identity. What I've really enjoyed is seeing them reach out for support and invite it in in a way that's both trusted and skilled. Being able to have this data on a daily basis has really improved the quality of service I'm able to provide and I've been so inspired by the effects and benefits that I've actually joined ShareTree to help spread that purpose. So emotional Pulse is really finding benefit to individuals, to relationships, to coaching situations and to workplace cultures. And what the research is showing us is that 70% of leaders traditionally in workplaces have little to no transparency about their team's mental health state. And 100% of leaders in workplaces using Emotional Pulse said it significantly improved not only who to help, but when to help. And what teams are reporting is 83% improvement in connection and the authenticity of support. So Emotional Pulse is to mental health what the seatbelt was to road safety in the 1970s.